But yeah, I saw this shit. The Fresh and Fit podcast. Host. The baby, because I don't want to kill the baby. I don't want to kill nobody. I don't want to. You're not. They just give you a pill and it's over. No. No. Bro, how did they get this fucking call leaked? I'm pregnant. No, but that's what I'm saying. The pill, they just give it to you from a doctor and then you're good. I am pregnant. I can't pretending like nothing happened. I can't. In my religion, we don't... Wait, aren't these guys like anti-abortion? Like publicly? Is this fake? It feels fake. Sounds like she recorded it, judging by the call quality on both ends. Yeah, it does seem like she recorded it. Kill. You're not killing it. Okay. I want to keep the baby. Okay. Well, like I said, I just don't want any kids. No. Okay, so what you gonna do? And what you gonna do to me? When I saw the video, I went to her IG and she was live saying she's a Buddhist and anti-abortion. Most anti-abortion people are pro-abortion when they fuck someone that isn't their wife. I mean, yeah, we know that already, but it is pretty funny that this would be like, I mean, I don't know. I don't fucking know. We doing drama today. I mean, this is pretty funny. Who cares? Uh, Abba and Preach did a video. She recorded it and posted it on her socials. Okay. Oh my God. Well, why did I do anything to you? Nothing. Why did I do anything to you? No, I know. So, like, how are you going to deal with this? By by saying I don't want a baby? That's all? I mean... I to, to the doctor, I guess. To the doctor? So you want abortion? I mean, yeah. Why do you want a kid now? And why do you make me pregnant now? That's something like, there's no way that that's true. But then it's like, oh, wow. Like. So just think about it. It's mean to be. God, wants, God wants you to have the baby. Definitely not. It is. I'm going to be honest. They're having a mid off. This is so fucking stupid. I mean, I'm categorically on her side because I think it's very funny that this guy got jammed up in this situation. And like. But very clearly, she's not exactly a good person, okay? That's awesome. He baby trapped... I mean, she baby trapped him. <laughs> That's dope. Yeah, she's about to get that child support, baby. These guys don't have any money, though. That's the funny part. How the fuck is he going to pay for child support? Not that it matters. The court doesn't give a shit. D debated her yesterday, called her subhuman trash. Yeah, dude. It, in this conversation, I think they're both, okay? I'm looking at her picture, and I'm struggling to find the problem. That's so funny. Oh, wow. You mean to tell me Destiny was against the woman in that conversation? That's so shocking. <laughs> Wait, what? That's crazy. I mean, I'm not even siding with her, but it is pretty funny. Also, why the fuck do you guys know who fucking Divorcelli is debating every day? <laughs> he debated the baby. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. <laughs> he debated the baby, so the baby kills himself. <laughs> God wants you to have a baby. Seven years never happened. And then you're relate in the relate you're fucking me for a month and you I'm pregnant. What does that mean? Well, like it, it now, I just think about if like if you force me to kill the baby, then you're a sin. Well, we already sinned by having sex, but it's too late now, you know. But honestly, I mean, he, he's got a point. I can't believe she got owned by the dumbest guy on the planet. This guy is medically not allowed to drive cars and shit. Like, that's how fucking stupid he is. And he just owned her in the marketplace of ideas by being like, well, we already sinned. We fucked. Why is she a bad person? For having sexual intercourse with this guy. There. Is that is there more you need to know about? That tells me everything. I'm sorry. If you fuck that gremlin, you're not a good person. There is no world in which that's a good person. What did you say? Slut shaming? That's not slut shaming, dude. That's dumb fuck shaming. I don't have any issue with people being slutty. You're the one calling her a slut. That's a shitty take. No, I'm sorry. You guys are fucking straight up. Unironically, the meme that everyone says about the left, which is like, no, women have no capacity to do wrong things or bad things. Okay? Get the fuck out of here, dude. Maybe she's uncontrollably horny. Come on, dude. Oh my God. Chat literally is doing the thing where it's like, no, I support all women across the board in every story. 
Like I, I, my support still hinges on the side of her because it, you know, I don't like this guy at all, but that doesn't mean I'm going to fucking, it, 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 it doesn't mean I'm going to actually fucking sit here and be like, yeah, no, this person who's like recording phone conversations very clearly fucking farmed this dude for uh, child support money because she baby trapped him, uh, is, is like a good person who definitely just had honest intentions. Come on, man. Think, think, exercise a little bit of this. She's just the girl, dot, 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 literally just the girl. Yeah, baby trapping, pretty misogynistic. Please, uh, explain to me what you think is going on here. Do you think she was like, I fell in love with you. I want to have this child with you. Getting pregnant is a consequence of sex, bro. Yeah, she wants to keep it. That's the point. It's not like she wants to get an abortion and her fucking boyfriend is stopping her from getting an abortion. If she wants to keep the baby, she can keep the fucking baby. If she wants, it's great. But the reality of the situation is a little bit different. I don't think she has good intentions here. They are both responsible. She's taking advantage of a bad guy. No, exactly. Which is why I think it's funny and, uh, and, and I'm on board, you know, with her cause. But I'm not going to sit here and be like, no, she just, oh no, like she's just a good person who definitely had all the best intentions. Like she fucked this guy, dude. Get the fuck out of here. That's not a trap, bro. He slept with her consensually. No, the trap part is when you're like, no, I'm going to keep the fucking baby. I don't give a shit. You have to pay me now. Why? Because it's a fucking sin. <laughs> <laughs> Get fucked. <laughs> Is this you negging her, lol? Ay, ay, ay. There's like 11 different things that this person, uh, 11 different red flags here. One, she had sex with him, okay? Like she was in his vicinity and it wasn't for money either, by the way, which is crazy, okay? Number two, Dumb enough to think that he has money that is going to come her way regardless. The only time she isn't a bad person is she's a sex worker and got paid to have sex with him. Sure. But also, like, let's be real. Most likely would get an abortion if she's a sex worker and wouldn't be like, I'm actually religious and therefore I have to keep this baby. You are the meme that libs love abortions. I mean, I do love abortions. Yes, it's called fucking allowing women to have bodily autonomy. She has the bodily autonomy here too. If she wants to keep the baby, she can. But like, you know, probably not wise. She was saying that she did fall in love with him. She moved here from China, not knowing about a show, met him, got into a relationship, got love bombed. She knocked him up and found out after they broke up. She explained it in an interview yesterday. <laughs> Maybe it's real. I don't know. That's fucking funny. Ugh. Something is not making sense here, but it is pretty funny. It almost feels like she reverse passport bro him. And he's like a passport bro, isn't he? Oh my God, that's so sick. Respect, dude, that's what I'm talking about. Immigrants on the come up. Okay, I'm fully on our side now, I take it back. Read this article with quotes from her. She got his ass, Lamau. Pressure Fit Podcast host who preaches about the importance of fathers asks his girlfriend to get an abortion, Walter Weeks. His name is Walter? Oh my God. <laughs> uh, known as Fresh Prince CEO or Fresh is Slam for reportedly asking his girlfriend, uh, Daisy, to get an abortion, and now people are asking if he's going to take accountability for his actions. Amru Fudel, who goes by Myron Gaines or Fit, is the author of Why Women Deserve Less. <laughs> uh, So-called red pill man from Fresh and Fit wants his girl to have an abortion with his baby. Here's the leaked call. In other screenshots, Fresh reported tells Fresh reportedly tells Daisy to bring up a kid in this world without both parents. Love is cruel. Yet he often speaks about how fatherhood is important to a child's development. I suppose. So you guys understand why I, I, I think this is ridiculous, right? Like, because I don't think abortion is like a sin for the record, which is why if I thought abortion was a sin, I'd be like, dude, what the fuck are you doing? Why aren't you taking care of this child? This is your responsibility. I, on the other hand, don't think abortion is a sin. It's fucking ridiculous. So just understand that is a big part of this conversation. I not only think abortion is not a sin, but I also don't think that she thinks abortion is a sin either. Let's be real. I don't think that that part is real either. Anyway, <laughs> you're a bad person picking on the impaired. Leave this poor blind woman alone. Oh, come on. <laughs> blind, deaf. She was that fucking Helen Keller. She had the Helen Keller thing. Blind, deaf, can't talk. She must have had all of that. Come on now. You wrong for that? She fucked him. 
Uh, in other screenshots, Fresh reportedly tells Daisy that bringing a kid into this world without both parents is you know, can't smell. Red pill L's. Fresh from Fresh and Fit exposed for encouraging girlfriend Daisy to abort their baby. This from the women are allergic to accountability crowd. Surprise, surprise. You always told me you wanted me to be your baby's mother. I loved you and I did everything to be a good girlfriend. Now this is happening. You walked away. I think I want to keep the baby. I don't want to kill alive. I want you to think carefully and take the responsibility. I will call you shortly. Take your time. I can't have kids. Take responsibility for your actions. What's this? Read it. Blood test. Pregnancy blood test. I know, but what does it mean? I don't understand the numbers. Three to four weeks, doctor says. Oh, okay. It's our baby, and you want to kill our baby. You are not being a good human. Oh, no. Being a shitty person isn't an STD. It's not like he pumped bad vibes into her. No, but he's such a shitty person that I don't think that a good person is like, yeah, I'm going to have sex with this guy and fall in love with him. That's my point. Do you get, do you get what I'm saying? Do you understand? Like at a certain point, there is a level of accountability to, that we need to ascribe to adults. Okay. This is an adult woman. Not every woman is, is, is supposed to be infantilized to every step, to every fucking degree. I'm sorry. She literally fucked one of the worst dudes that she could have fucked. That's crazy. Get a fucking abortion. What's wrong with you? Why are you trying to bring his spawn into this planet to begin with? Okay, you are not being a good human. It's not about right now. It's not about that right now. It's not good. And a lot is happening, especially now business may be over. <laughs> He's broke. I don't want kids right now. And we spoke about it and you agreed. I never agreed. I agreed based on your actions. He was coming inside of her. God damn, broke boy. What the fuck are you doing? And you are not educated. If you keep come inside on me, I will get pregnant. I don't get pregnant without your behave. Words mean nothing. Man up. I'm not saying I want to be with you. I don't because you are nothing to me. But the baby is innocent. <laughs> you should have a kid with someone you are in love. You are with love in in the same household, it won't be what you expect. Man up, I'm telling you now so you know. I don't expect anything anymore since we are not together. I got pregnant with you when I was in your house and when I was in love. You wanted to have the baby. If you didn't, you did come in me with your own pleasure. Be logic and be a man. I don't get pregnant by myself. It's not fair for the baby. Okay. Okay. I, I love her. Everything that she writes in this, I love her more and more. <laughs> you come in me be a man it's so good oh is poetry <laughs> oh <laughs> she said is science i can't have a baby on my own it's science <laughs> what are you saying we are not together and won't be why would that be good for a kid so why did you keep coming inside me? No. No. Oh. <laughs> why did you keep coming inside of me? I love the ESL barrier here, making it so much funnier. <laughs> Also, things happening. Yes, feelings change, but bringing a kid into this world without both parents' love is cruel. We both thought you wouldn't get pregnant. Wait, what? Why wouldn't they? <laughs> she didn't. Wait, what did... Wait, how, wait, where did this jump to? We both thought you wouldn't get pregnant. It was a joke. All I'm saying is, you should take the responsibility for what you did. I'm a victim of this relationship, and I'm carrying your babe. I'm carrying your babe. You act like you don't care and you don't want nothing. Also, now I'm worried I have to test for other girls, at least four. Wait, did he did he cream pie her as a as a meme for the haha's? Like, I don't get it. Another girl, four girls. You are saying you have sex with four girls without protection? I hope you have all the money for your children's support. You finally admit you are a fucking fucking trash. I don't have money. Good luck. Lol, you will see. <laughs> Yo! Yo! This is a story between me and X Walter Weeks. The podcast are known as X Fresh IG YouTube, X Fresh Prince CEO. I met him on November 1st in Miami and fall love with him. 
We spent New Year's together. That's the time when he asked me to be his girl to commit to him. And he posted a video of us on social media. He said to me, I love you. I don't want you to be with other men. A few days later, double exclamation mark emoji. He asked me to meet his mom. Everything went well. I showed him and his mom my respect. He defended me on his podcast from the rumors. That's the moment I truly fall in love with him. But this is where the game begin. <laughs> That's what she, she, <laughs> guys, if you defend your, your fuck buddy on your hyper misogynistic podcast, you will always have them fall in love with you. This is so much funnier because like ESL makes this better. Uh, honestly, it's like chef's kiss, <laughs> especially why you leave coming me is like, that's awesome. I left Miami on January 8th, traveled back to China for New Year's, for Chinese New Year. The night before, we had a serious conversation, exclamation mark emoji. He said he sees me like someone to spend the whole life with, and I told him I was going to move to Miami for him. From then, we started a long-distance relationship for two months, red exclamation mark emoji, until I traveled to Barbados. I met his entire family there. He... Uh, serious with me therefore i am not on both control and we had sexual behavior without protection i was ready to have a baby with him and build a family he asked me many times what if you got pregnant my answer towards him was always yes i want to keep the baby i don't mind have a baby with you oh my god our kids gonna look like them they're so cute lol i knew you were typing me this blasian oh she's cooking him <laughs> Now I'm in a strange country all alone. If I don't expose this, he will continue doing that to other naive girls. There will be more women get hurt. After a few days, remember yesterday when I said I don't give a fuck about Andrew Huberman's like sex capades? Now I care about podcasters and who they put their dick inside of. She straight up didn't trap him Lamau. Yeah, it turns out it turns out she was just straight up trying to have his child, which is still signaling major red flags. Make no mistake, I am not moving from that position one inch. The fact that she fell in love with this fucking asshole implies so many different red flags. She literally said she fell in love with him because he defended her on his hyper, hyper misogynistic red pill podcast. <laughs> Fucked up, but she's a queen. Yeah, no, she is a queen. Neither of these people should have children. Yeah, and want to leave fucking China for him? If she's having my baby, my ass is going to be in Beijing. That's what I'm saying, dude. Yeah, my position has changed a little bit. Critical support. Critical support for our uh, Chinese ally here. No, she did trap him. No one gets pregnant after four months in which you spend like three months apart. She even had a lawyer ready. Both awful people who should have no kids and their ass is confiscated. She's a baddie, but her mindset is on another planet. Give her a little charity. Hassan, she literally didn't know what they were saying on the podcast as obvious by her text to speech animal crossing emoji ass way of writing as a major woman defender her defending him after seeing the podcast is kind of wow she needs chinese netizens to help her big time after a few days he asked me to move out he stopped coming home he disappeared for three nights without explanation i called him he never answered when i did nothing wrong when i was so genuine i left my work behind in china to pursuing this relationship so i moved out booked the first flight to new york city on March 30th, I had a pregnancy test. Is positive. Here's what happened. He said on the phone, there's no reason to meet and discuss further. He refused to have an adult conversation in person. He asked me to take pills and deal with it alone. He doesn't even want to show up and be a real man and take responsibility under his behave. Now I'm warning all girls, stay away from this man. He is dishonest and a liar. Now I ask you, please stand by me and help me expose him in order to protect more women. I've suffered many days before I decided to tell everyone what happened. I needed... I need to help other girls to know his true color. And ladies, please protect yourself. That's pretty funny because it's like, yeah, I mean, protect yourself from this. Okay, maybe she is a bit of a baddie. Um, 